you have been a champion in terms of democratic reforms in this country mm -hmm. and in that way have expanded our partnership. And mm -hmm. so today then is part of the strengthening of the relationship between our two countries. Mm -hmm. And under your leadership, yes. I have full confidence that we will be able to do just that. It's my commitment. Thank you. And the Biden-Harris administration is committed to strengthening this relationship going forward. Today we will discuss many topics. We have discussed a few already. But the topics we will continue to discuss include the issue, as you have raised, of democracy and good governance. Mm -hmm. uh, we will discuss and continue to discuss the issue of long-term economic growth for mm -hmm. Tanzania, mm -hmm. the climate crisis, mm -hmm. and then regional and global challenges. On the subject of democracy and good governance, as I said in Ghana, polling tells us the vast majority of Africans support democracy over other forms of government. Mm -hmm. This reflects a shared desire between us. And the United States will continue to work alongside democratic governments in support of democratic aspirations and the democratic aspirations in particular of the people of this continent. Mm -hmm. Madam President, under your leadership, Tanzania has taken important and meaningful steps. Mm -hmm. And President Joe Biden and I applaud you. Thank you. You have been open to working with the political opposition. We have discussed that. Mm. You have lifted the ban on political party public rallies. Mm. You worked to improve the freedom of the press. Mm. And just yesterday, you participated, as you mentioned, mm. in the Summit for Democracy. Mm. On the subject of economic growth, good governance delivers predictability, stability, and rule of law, which businesses need to invest. Mm. Working together, it is our shared goal to increase economic investment in Tanzania and strengthen our economic ties. Yes.